Hello, good morning, good afternoon. Welcome to balmy 87 degree Florida. It's um, occasionally overcast, we're expecting another storm. Not too much in the future. And um, this is yesterday's 4th of July fireworks painting dry today. It's um, not quite as vibrant, but uh, it's also dark where I'm showing it to you compared to out in the sunlight. So it's a bit brighter than this. Anyway, next. Um, back when I started making videos, I made a few spirals. They were incomplete and frustrating to more than one person. Um, so being that I need to amuse myself and I like spirals, I give myself permission today to play and that's what we're going to do. I am going to refocus because I don't know. And there's my butter dish. And that's what we're going to use to dip paint, possibly. Yeah, I think I need to um, move down that way. Yeah, that's better. Okay, well, we can actually enlarge that a little bit if we want to. Or not. Let's see if we can't keep you all in the picture. Come on, camera. Behave. This is also my first day using a, uh, a camera battery adapter, so maybe... If we're lucky, my camera won't attempt to melt itself, and that would be great. I'm going to focus now. That's good. Okay, so no matter what else happens, we know we're focused, and we're in a relatively good position. So the reason I like the butter dish and the square-sided reservoir is because I can pick colors out of there. Um, I really like my dustpan even better, but I can't do the same thing because I have no edge to, to move against, so that's what I'm going to do. And instead of doing spirals like I've done in the past, I'm going to make myself a little dirty pour reservoir and then I'm going to drip around in a circle and see if I can't fill it in. And uh, I haven't made up my mind right at this exact second whether I want to use any blaster silicone or not, which is what I use. And yeah, let's put a little on the bottom. Very little. Ooh, the fan is blowing from one direction and the, um, and the breeze is nice. Hey, that's helpful. The breeze is blowing from the other, so it's interesting right now. Uh, windy, even. Oh, yeah. Yep, windy. <laughs> Let's see if we can nail a few things down. I am going to try and keep it bright. I'd like to keep it simple, but if you know me by now, that's probably never, ever going to be the case. I have some colors to use up and some older bottles, and I'm hoping that they... Yeah, they're good. Cool. Okay. So far, so good. Now, I'm going to put this over here so you can see what I'm doing. And that is some orange metallic. And I find constantly that the yellow makes everything pop. And I have some really pretty pink that's in an old golden bottle from when I was using fluid acrylics, high flow fluid acrylics more often. And I'm going to splooge some blue. Oh my goodness. Hey, I guess I didn't put that on there. It's going to be a very black circle. No kidding. That might be a first. Oh well. You know what happens. That stuff. So, white pearl. And I think we'll come back and try and make up for the fact that we have a tremendous amount of black in there with some other really super bright colors. This stuff, the Floetrol. It's a Michael's Bulk brand pink, uh, but the Floetrol likes to go to the top of that regularly. Um, that is regular turquoise and not my metallic turquoise and I am a metallic junkie. I admit it. We're still getting some interesting patterns and I like my color shift turquoise by Folk Art. And the green gold which is another thing. That's That looks very much like the, co the color shift folk art, but I'm not sure if it is or not. And I'm not going to worry about it either. There's my favorite color. Now, because I like fuchsia plants, I rationalize that red and purple can go together, only I'm not seeing my red anywhere. Where is it? Okay, I have a couple of reds here. They're a nice magenta based red, so I think whatever that is. I always think it's so funny, I feel the need to brush off my canvas because it's not like I'm not going to completely cover it with all kinds of other stuff. I am going to continue on my merry way, adding interesting stuff until I see something on the surface that I like. Oh, I have more of that blue to use up. I'm 
not sure that's going to go with anything right there. And it's also not coming out, so I'll leave that to the side and maybe I'll be smart enough to reef, to, to reef out the cap. That, that lilac is pretty neat. And I know there's plenty of black in there. Ah, I love this color. This is not a use-up color. This is a Caribbean blue. Um, I believe it's from Anita's. I like Anita's. Anita's is very inexpensive, very color saturated, and um, when you need a paint fix and you don't have much money in your pocket, that's the way to go. I'm going to go back to my gold again because I can. And I'm going to have one last look over here and throw some more orange in. And I'm, I'm figuring that a lot of these colors will, uh, will have to go another painting, and that's okay. Splooge. What am I missing other than... I want some darker blue in there, but what I'm not seeing very much of is my favorite color. So I'm just going to do that. Because I can. And I'm going to. And the top is on that black, which we will require in a moment. And I put my butter dish down right here. And I suppose I could make myself a spiral. Hey, that's sort of clear. Sort of not. Let me clear it with my little fork. Yep, plug in there. And I'm going to attempt to make myself a spiral with my squeeze bottle. And I can then sort of kind of follow. We'll see how this works. I haven't done this, but like I said, this is my day to amuse myself. And I'm noticing that I don't have much white pearl showing in there and I want some white. And so I'm going to just dribble that right on the top. And should I notice that I'm missing something else, I will probably know. I'm not putting any more of that in there, but I don't have any of this showing. It's basically rainbow colors again. They come out in nice configurations. So I'm just going to dip my butter dish in there. Whoops, I'm right under the camera. I am so sorry. So, I'm going to stay. outside that circle as best I can. I'm going to put a bunch of paint there. I haven't done this before this way. I figure it might be an easy way to do things, but I'm not certain that I'm not promising yet. But I'm liking the colors. And I got a funny feeling I should be moving my blobs from the opposite direction, but um, right now, we sort of started this, so we might as well finish it the way it is. And I'm going to ribbon pour consistently. i got a strong breeze. I have some beautiful patterns in here. That did not stay inside my spiral. Okay, well. And I expect that to drip over the edge is fine. Yeah. Let me just go back again and again, especially with that. I expect that to drip over the edge. I'm kind of thinking as I go, since this is mostly experiments and play, but I can decide suddenly and irrevocably, irrevocably. Yeah, that's me trying to put a new word in my mouth. Irrevocably. Haha, <laughs> there you go. All right. So I used far more paint than I expected to, and that's okay. But what I want to do right now is find my white. And I have just enough white in this bottle, and that's cool, to put a... ring around the inside. Oh, hello, Troll Booger. Bye-bye. Big one, too. I hope this works. I am loving that spiral, to tell you the truth. But the paint is pretty thick, and I have no idea if we're going to be able to keep everything, or anything, at that this point. You know what? I'm going to do the outside, too. I grabbed the wrong bottle of white and I'm using pearl. 
<laughs> that that'll serve me for not putting my glasses on, right? Also, I will run out because I was very running very short on pearl. But this is fun, and I could actually just go in there. Yeah, I could go in there and fill in with black. But what I want to try and see is whether I take my medical tubing someone sent me and how it'll blow toward that white. And I've just realized the music is on. Oh well. I try so hard to turn it off all the time too. So someday you may see this video with advertising on it. Don't, don't be surprised. I figure as long as we've got some silicone in here. Blowing and agitating the paint should make some pretty patterns. And I don't have to blow all the paint out to the white. I can blow the white in and then blow it back out again, and it will um, become one, <laughs> one area. So I've got some paint dripping down, which is fine. But I'm going to use my finger while I can, and while I can see it's still nice fresh colors before it becomes something other than nice fresh colors. And I'm going to fill in on the edges. If I don't like something, I have other paint left. Never done this this way, always wanted to. Happy to be doing it now. Can't talk and blow at the same time though. No problem if my unif if my spiral is not uniform doesn't bother me a bit. In fact, it occurs to me that I may be using a bamboo skewer at some point. You know what? I think I'm going to roll turn that around on my turntable. I never use my turntable. I forget I have it. I like that. I like raggedy. And I love unearthing colors. And we have six minutes left, so I better hurry. I set a timer because my camera used to shut off at 20 minutes, but we also thank you subscribers and thank you uh, contributors, bought a, um, a 64 gig memory card for my camera, so we may have longer, but I'm not sure YouTube will run them any longer, so cross your fingers for us. I'm liking that pattern there. Never tried this. I said that. How many times can I say that? I'm loving the pattern and the spiral really and truly. I am. First I'm going to blow the white into it and then I'm going to blow it back out. Looks like a charm. I may need a little something else there. <laughs> That's what my fingers are for. Let's grab some of that too. Just a little. For a line of demarcation. It's kind of a simple concept. I'm liking how it's turning out. I'm just going to dab some more paint on the edges while I'm here. I think it's kind of beautiful. I'm loving it, actually. <laughs> Wrong end. <laughs> Wrong end's not so bad until I stick it in paint and try and do that. Mm, 
like that. <laughs> okay, I want some more color over there. And I'm not interested in taking too long to do it, so I am going to just dip my finger in that reservoir. And then I'm going to take the residual, where the edge is not covered, and tap gently so I don't make mud. Oh gosh, I'm really happy with that. Happier than I expected by far. But I still have some places that I'd like some color. Don't be afraid to use your fingers. It doesn't matter what anybody says. Go for it. That's cool. Am I done? Close, sort of. I don't know that I really want to fill in with black. And I like the white, and it could be gold. And where's my little, I like that, um, I like this up here, but I want something else in there. And I could dot, I could dot everywhere. I'm not gonna do that. I really like the white, and I'm gonna try and see what happens. I can't really spread it very easily. I think I did use the pearl. That was not really up purpose, but. I have a bad habit of not putting my glasses on. This could take a little while. So, if I lose you, remember <laughs> I have a PayPal donation button on my YouTube header and a Patreon link for those who want to see me do this for a long time, which is a monthly subscription. And whatever you decide to help me with is more than enough I really appreciate anybody who wants to contribute something, so don't think for a moment that I don't appreciate even the least. I'm going to go back over here, and I'm going to try and blow these together. That Having that white pearl there is going to be kind of different. I guess that's an experiment of its own. I don't want to put that white right on the edge. Because if I do, it's just going to become so very, very plump. I'm um, loving that. I really, it's, I know it's simple. I'm really glad I made a spiral in advance. I am going to, what am I going to do? I am going to do something. <laughs> I'm going to take one of these new tools, I think, yeah, from my play set. And because they're nice and thin, I'm going to attempt to let them touch each other. I'm going to put my glasses on like a of talking about it and just do it. Yeah, I'm not minding that tool. Like I said, that's from a clay set. I've been carting around for years. I can do sculpture too. Make sure there's nothing. I don't want any schmutz if I can help it. And they go in with the bamboo skewer in the end and adjust that center, but right now it doesn't look too bad actually. I know if I can catch this in time, the paints will meld with each other. It's a little smooth, but it's not impossible. Hey, you know what? <laughs> What's even better than a tool? A tool on the end of your arm. And then I'll just go back in if we run out of time, because you've got 46 seconds. And I'm going to say, this is going to look a lot like you see it now. It was lovely to have you. You inspire the heck out of me. I'm so pleased that we can do this together and that it really, I'm, it makes me so happy to inspire you. Some things are harder than others. This might not be hard for me, it might be hard for you, but it's worth trying, I recommend it. That timer is gonna go off, and then you're gonna be gone. And I'll say, watch me work, and Priscilla out for now, and I'll see you in the next video. Ooh, I might do some, I might do some of those um, tendrils. So if it looks that different, you'll understand. <laughs> but I do need to get this paint. There we go. That's you. If you're not gone completely, you're nearly gone. So I'm just going to keep working on that for a while. And say that it's going to look very much like that. And there's no point in making another video to see you finish it. And um, I'm just going to keep filling in, which is going to be